Hi, uh, Mick here, obviously. Uh, if you're seeing me, it's me. Uh, over the years, I've had an opportunity to do some business consulting, uh, basically on the human factor end, going in to look and see uh, who's supporting and who's not the owner. I've, we've done some corporate gigs, but uh, like government gigs, they don't seem to work. My friend Randy Elliott went in and uh, did a cor uh, government gig, and uh, there's really nothing to do with government employees, for the most part. Generalization, I know. But in entrepreneurial endeavor, uh, the entrepreneur who started the business is usually interested in productivity because they are looking at the bottom line and have to. They've got employees who, if they aren't enjoying the entrepreneur and aren't enjoying the entrepreneur's endeavor, then they should not be there. And sometimes it's real difficult for the entrepreneur themselves to look and see who really want to be there. As they uh, look and think, oh, well, no, this guy definitely does, wants to be here. And I say, well, how do you know? Well, he's here. And it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, but uh, a few years ago, I was working for a, an organization uh, that was in quite a bit of trouble. Actually, I was donating time. And uh, one of the employees was sitting and I said, what's the worst part of your job? Because sometimes you can look at it and say, you know, uh, just look and give them a suggestion that is so simple and so easy. And this young man said, oh, the worst part is the debt collectors calling. You know, he said they call and they threaten you. And I said, well, why don't you tell them the truth then? And he said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, tell them that without you there to call, they would have nothing to do. You know, if you didn't owe them the money, they wouldn't have anything to do. And so they should really start treating you rather well because you have given them a job and you're actually employing them or in a roundabout way making a reason for them to exist. <laughs> And the guy started laughing. He said, you know, he said that there's some truth to that. And he said, instead of getting upset, I said, right, their the job is to try to get the money. If you don't have the money, what are you going to do? Beg, borrow, steal? I don't know. But if, if you don't have the money and you can't get it to them, then just tell them the truth. Look, it's, it's, here's, here's the way it is. We don't have the money, and uh, you should really be nice to me. And about, uh, I don't know, a couple of months later, and if I start an entrepreneurial consulting gig, I like to do a few of them just to see what the progress is and to see if they follow suggestions. If they don't, there's no use going back. But uh, I was talking to the young man who was so upset with the bill collectors, and I said, hey, the worst part of your job. And he said, huh? And I said, the bill collectors. And he said, aha, uh -huh, yeah, what about them? And I said, how has it been since we consulted? And he said, um, I... I haven't had one call from a bill collector. And he said, well, sometimes that is the impact of my work. And he said, now you're carrying things too far, Mackenzie. And maybe I am. But I've seen this fairly frequently, that when people uh, alter their electromagnetic frequency, they uh, things change around them, and certain things that they dread happen in their lives don't continue to happen. And they actually attract people into their lives that they w do want to attract. So if you want to check out uh, what I do, www.micpeakperformance.com, uh, have a fun day. Have a great weekend. It's uh, Saturday here in Switzerland.